You got anything to say before I blow your brains out, you miserable prick? I should have killed you, Mac and Felly. Yeah, Joey. You should have. Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Matt, and this is another edition of Beers and Beards with Matt. Now, this is a uh, afternoon edition. I'm doing this kind of in the middle of the day. It's about 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my uh, watchers in the Midwest, uh, maybe Mountain Time or even on the West Coast. And um, I'm going to be bringing you guys another pumpkin beer. This is the third... Or should I say the third? No, it's more like that. It's better than that. It's, this is the German way of doing three for all my... Friends who have seen Inglorious Bastards, of course. So this is the third uh, pumpkin beer that I'm uh, that I'm going to be doing today. Not the third in one day, just the third in the series of uh, seven. I'm still hoping to get seven. I have uh, two more in the refrigerator, so it'll be five. So I'll need to find two more pumpkin beers. I'm sure I'll be able to find some. They probably won't be uh, craft beers, per se. They'll probably be something more of a, um, a domestic... Uh, pumpkin beer, if you will, so maybe something by Michelob or something like that. I'll, I'll figure it out when I get to that, though. Anyway, enough exposition. Let's get to the beer. And this one is a variety of Smutty Nose. Now, I am I like Smutty Nose a lot. This is another New York brewery. I believe they're from upstate New York, uh, uh, Utica, uh, New York. I believe that's upstate. It's not down in like the Manhattan area or anything like that. Now, the thing I like about Smutty Nose is not only because they make pretty decent beer themselves, is that I, I always enjoyed the pictures on it. Now, this one's just a picture of a pumpkin, and it says, uh, Cucurubita Pepo. I, I guess it means pumpkin, or a variety of, pump, of uh, uh, pumpkin, or possibly just the Latin name for pumpkin. Now, what I like about the labels is that they're kind of like little pieces of Americana, if you will. They almost remind me of, like, Norman Rockwell um, pictures, but they're just still photographs. Like some of them are like two old men on a porch, or one's just a dog. Another one's like a lady who's dressed up like a mermaid. Other ones are like people out in the, out in the cold, like the woman smiling in the in the uh, snow and everything like that. And it's always appealed to me that it's interesting that they're putting real pictures on their uh, labels as opposed to just some drawings or some you know funny looking picture or something like that or just a name on it. It just intrigues me the way they market their beer. I mean, it makes me think that this beer is for everybody. They're not trying to be too uh, smarmy about it, or they're not trying to be like a highbrow or, or, or high on their nose about something like that. So I like it because of that. But not only that, because the beer is great also. This is the, this is the pumpkin ale. Uh, ale brewed with, uh, this, now this is pumpkin puree and spices. Now you definitely get the pumpkin smell, as all pumpkin beers that I've had so far are just, you know, they have to smell like pumpkin. You have to smell like pumpkin if you want to be taken seriously as a pumpkin beer or pumpkin ale. Now, once again, this is this is this is a nail. Um, I've had an imperial pumpkin ale and uh, two regular ales. Now this one has definitely has a little bit more head than the uh, other one I just had. I had the uh, the Buffalo Bills original American pumpkin ale. Now this has a little bit of a more of a beer smell than an actual pumpkin smell. I don't know if that has to do maybe more with the puree elements of it, or maybe just the way it's brewed. So. But it's not always about the smell. Let's see what we uh, got here for taste. Mm. A lot heartier than uh, the Buffalo Bills uh, ale. Not as watered down. A little more full-bodied. A little hoppy, uh, if I do say so myself, or hoppier than other ones I've had. Not very sweet. Ooh, it's actually hoppier than I anticipated. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't imagine pumpkin ales being hoppy beers. Um, I guess depending on how it's brewed, of course. But not as malty. Way hoppier than I expected. Not that it's a bad thing. Wow. The thing about this is that the hoppiness is taking away from the actual pumpkin taste and the pumpkin idea that I have behind this beer. On the back end, once the hoppiness dissipates, you do get a nice breath of fresh air, if you will, of pumpkin. Uh, it just isn't that prevalent. The smell is there, 
even though it is kind of astringent almost. Um, not really malty at all. You get, I don't know, you, you, there's something about it that I can't quite put my, I, I can put my finger on it. I know it, it's, it's extremely hoppy for a pumpkin ale. It's like a bitter pumpkin. <laughs> Sounds like a name of a band or something like that. Smashing Pumpkins, Bitter Pumpkins. Um, can't say I'm digging it too much. I mean, it's different from any other pumpkin beer that I've had in the aspect that it's hitting you with those hops. <coughs> Which is, in, like, in, in and of itself, the idea to put hops in a pumpkin beer, I would have never thought of to have done that. On the other hand, the hoppiness I could be tasting could be all the spices that they put into this beer also. But I don't think so. <clears throat> when I think of like a spiced beer, I think of like a like a shock top or maybe even a Ho, uh, Ho Garden or something like that. And it's like a pleasant spice. This is almost like a punching the back of my taste buds with uh, hops and spices. I don't know. I like other smutty nose varieties. I love their summer. The winter I'm not so keen on mine into darker beers. Um, the IPA is very good. Um, the Haname Cherry Ale that I had by them was fabulous. I loved it. I thought it was very playful and it, it, just the amounts of cherries and not the overdose of cherries. Like when you think of cherries, you think of like bitter sour. More sour than bitter, of course. Now, when I think of pumpkin, I think of... I guess I think of heavy, but I don't think of bitter when I uh, think of pumpkin at all. And you could definitely tell there's a lot of hops, in, or a good variety, a good amount of hops in here by the lacing in here. There's a good, a good amount of lacing in this beer, just to show the hop prevalence of this beer. Well, let's take the rest of this bad boy down, shall we? Well, I gotta get myself in a state frame of mind here. <clears throat> Ooh, all right. Ugh, man. A lot of fine lacing in there if you like hops. Anyway, that was the the not as expected smutty nose pumpkin ale. There isn't a lot of literature on this. Actually, there is no literature at all about it. So that's it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be um, grading these beers right now. Um, when I get done with my series of seven, I will be. Um, kind of putting them numerically in order from best to worst and give you, I'll give that like in a separate uh, separate video I'll tell you what I think about all seven, kind of what I think about all seven beers but also rate them uh, from best to worst uh, if you will so far has been a very interesting variety that I've had so far I've had three of them, I had the Southern Tier Pumpkin, I had the Buffalo Bills Original Pumpkin Ale and now I've had the uh, Smutty Nose uh, Pumpkin Ale. It's been kind of a weird, wild journey of how these beers have kind of stacked up so far. But that's all in the fun of drinking the pumpkin and see how they brew it and uh, see how it comes out. Anyway, uh, that's about it. No rating here. Um, I, will, I will reserve my rating until I'm done with all the beers. Hope you guys enjoyed. The next video will be up probably in the next day or so. Uh, I'm going to pump these out pretty quick. So... Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope it's so knowledgeable. Hopefully, hopefully it was more of a review than a talk. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Uh, Roger, I know you're back down here in South Florida. Let me know what the deal is. We got. I know we got to link up at some point. Um, you let me know either you know Facebook or uh, YouTube or whatever. I don't do the Twitter thing. Sorry guys, I'm not a Twitterer. 
I, don't, I, I, I usually take more than 141 characters to get my point across um, most of the time. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. See you guys later.